All right, guys, today we're going to do a bit of a fun video. I've on the channel talked a lot about the TRM Neutron 2, and this is, of course, my TRM Neutron 2. It is one of my favorite blades, and I think it comes from a knife company that is fastly becoming one of my favorites, uh, primarily because they do just such a dang good job with knives, and they honestly really put a lot of focus, I think, into not only making everything in America, but also giving you a knife that you can really customize and make your own from putting custom o-rings on your thumb studs to swapping out handles and stuff like that but today i wanted to talk about my neutron versus my atom and i will say full up front i was sent the atom and the shadow by trm and there will be a giveaway that's either happening will happen or has happened depending on when you watch this video where i will be giving away either the atom or the shadow and yeah i'm currently at the moment of this video throwing a poll out onto the um, community page of my favor of my YouTube, I should say, and running a poll to see which the community actually wants more, the Atom or the Shadow. Because ultimately, at the core, this is a giveaway to the community, so it should be something that the community wants, right? But before that happens, I figured I would make a video talking about the Atom and the Neutron and which one, or kind of just going over essentially going over the differences between these two knives, because I wasn't entirely sure what all was different. So first off, I do have to say there are a few generational differences. This is the Neutron 2, but this is an older generation. So you'll notice here, like the pocket clip looks a lot more generic on the original, as opposed to this kind of custom deep carry clip. Um, there's also a spot for this to be reversible. So left hand, right hand, that is not the case on the Atom. But yeah, so there's not too many generational changes. Also, I believe the thumb studs are oversized now, as opposed to on the original, they were a little bit smaller. But with all of those differences aside, let's talk about the Atom versus the Neutron. So first off, I think the biggest difference that you guys have probably already observed is the fact that the Atom is probably about, I would say, a half inch bigger. And that definitely is very noticeable in hand, not just in weight, but also, in my opinion, kind of in comfort. Now, I still really love the Neutron, and I think for my purposes and applications, the Neutron is just about perfect for like a trail running knife. Um, and when I run like um, different types of like 10Ks and stuff, I like to have a knife on me, even if it's just for like doing different utility tasks. And I really like having a thin, lightweight, discreet knife that you can like literally throw in your pocket and entirely forget about right? Like the last thing I do want to do is like run around with a boat anchor if I'm trying to be competitive in, you know, doing any kind of sport. So it's nice to have something like that. that's just pretty discreet and you can throw it in your pocket and totally forget about it. However, the Atom, I think, is a far more EDC friendly knife. And I think like largely these knives just are like the same basic blade shape, same basic handle shape, just scaled up or down, depending on how you want to look at it. But the nice thing about the Atom when you scale up to this point is you get this really nice kind of discreet, like not super overt um, forward finger choil. And it is there. I mean, you guys can see in the handle, hopefully, that it is cut like in a kind of semi-circle here to allow for your forefinger to really get up there. So it isn't just something that like, you see it, it is built into the design. So I really like that. And of course you guys know, I, whether it's a small knife, a large knife, extra large knife, I really do prefer having a forward finger choil because there are certain tasks that it's nice to have your finger right against that edge. It just gives you a lot of control and dexterity when it comes to moving the blade. So I do like for Forward finger choils and of course the further away you are from the actual cutting edge the less control you have over it in addition to that though i will say um <clears throat> i feel like I feel like for the most part, the hardware and options and kind of setup make a lot more sense for the Atom. Like you guys can see, there's three kind of backspacers uh, or standoffs, depending on what you want to call them, on both models of knives. But it feels like they are very compressed on the Neutron, and it almost kind of doesn't make sense for there to be three on the Neutron, just because they are like so close together that it doesn't offer a lot of value. Whereas on here, they're a little bit more spaced out and it makes a little bit more sense. 
So overall, like I said, the kind of design and uh, like just overall shape of this knife makes a lot more sense when it's in full size. Now, once again, I, this isn't to say that the Neutron is bad. I still love my Neutron and I don't know, the Atom is like a super, super pocket friendly blade. I will give it that, but the Neutron, I, don't know, I love it to death. Anyways, a few other things you'll see is, um, and I think that this is partly, this is either potentially because it's a newer version or because it's a larger knife. And I kind of like this aspect to the Atom a little bit more. And that is that they chose, um, and it's, it's kind of hard to see with this handle, but they chose inset um, steel liners. So of course this is an Atom, it's still a liner lock, but the liner has been pretty much fully recessed. There are a few spots like on the back here and of course obviously where the liner comes out to be a liner lock where the handles, uh, the G10 handles have been recessed to show the liner. But for the most part, they've chose basically a fully inset, a fully inset metal liner. So that is, I think, a pretty big win in my opinion over this. This does look just a little bit more crude and I'm not sure once again if that's just a generational update or if that is the Atom as a whole. But either way, I do really like that. And I would say like for an EDC pocket knife, this is definitely the way to go. Not to mention too, um, I definitely like the um, oversized thumb studs. They are far easier to flick out. You guys can see here, like this thing just rockets out. It takes very little energy to get it to just shoot right out. So very good detent, very good action. And that is something that has luckily been carried over from the Neutron. I will say my Neutron is a little bit more well broken in because I did get this one um, used. So this has already seen some use, but this guy is minty new. So it's not quite as drop shut as the uh, Neutron, but I will expect in good time, this guy will become drop shut as well. And I really have to say I'm quite impressed with that because once again, when a lot of people think about drop shut knives, they think of knives running on bearings, but these guys, neither of them run on bearings, just good old fashioned phosphorus bronze washers, but they're well broken in, or once they become well broken in, they become very smooth, which is something that is, I think, very nice. Like it's uh, very much like Chris Reeve knives where, you know, a good Chris Reeve knife that's been well broken in is drop shot. Like my Sebenza is a very drop shot knife, very hydraulic styled action um, that once again, it takes, uh, you know, like a long time or a, a good amount of time. It's like breaking in a good pair of shoes, right? Like it takes some time to really get it to that tuned level. But once it is there, it is really good. So as far as it goes, when it comes down to it, I think if I had to choose one, I would still probably choose the Neutron for my own personal, like just love of how small, compact, and uh, thin this blade is. But I will say the Atom definitely makes a really good case. And I would say that from an EDC standpoint, I think that this knife is a lot more natural and intuitive. And I think that this is really where the design was made. Like I think that this knife was designed to be a larger style knife as opposed to the smaller Neutron. However, the Neutron is still really good. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this breakdown and kind of explaining it. I know that TRM knives are not super accessible in general, which is also part of the reason why I was super stoked to have TRM send out a knife for giveaway because I do hear quite frequently in the comments, you know, people love TRM knives or would love to get their hands on a TRM, but they're just like impossible to get. So um, I am glad that I can get one for the express intent to give it away to, to one of my viewers. So definitely, um, Definitely, if you are interested in the giveaway and you aren't watching this like a year later, I would definitely recommend checking out the channel, looking at the recent uploads to see if that video has come out. It will be its own video, its own giveaway. So I'm definitely you know, gonna make that like an independent upload, but whatever the community decides, whether it's the TRM Shadow or the Atom, one of these knives will be getting, give, get, getting given away in that video. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.